fractions and decimals and percents. Remember that percent means per 100. So when you go from decimal to percent, you're going to multiply the number by 100. That's why you move the decimal two places to the right, because you're multiplying by 100. Remember that. It makes it a lot easier. Let's start with number 2. We're doing together 2, 3, and 4. I went ahead and converted all my percents to decimals. All I'm doing is I'm moving the, the decimal two places to the left. To go from decimal to percent, you multiply it by 100. To go from percent to decimal, you divide it by 100. So 210 becomes 2 whole and 10 tenths. 10 hundredths, sorry, two whole and 10 hundredths, or two whole and one tenth. In fraction form, I would write two and one tenth. I could have written two and 10 hundredths and then reduced it to one tenth. Four percent, you move the decimal left two places and you get tenths, hundredths, thousandths, four thousandths. It's got one, two, three digits after the zero. So my denominator will have three zeros. This is reducible. Four goes into 10,000, no, 1,000. So I can reduce them both by four. One, let's see, four goes into 10 two times. With two left, so five, 250. Four goes into 1,000 250 times. I did the long division in my head. Don't worry if you need to write yours out. Number four, uh, 123 thousandths. I'm multiplying it by 10 to get percent. So that means the decimal moves two places to the right. So it is now 12.3%. And when I convert this to fraction, I've got one, two, three digits after the decimal. So my Denominator will have three zeros, and then I have 123. This is not reducible. That is finished. Let's do numbers 6, 9, and 12. All of them start with a fraction. I'll use my calculator. One third is one divided by three. One divided by three is its point three, 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 three. So it is 0 0.3. Let me come down to number nine while I'm using the calculator. One divided by 11 is 0 0.090909. 0 0.09. So 0 0.09 is what's repeating. And then finally, number 12, 2 divided by 3 is 0.6666666. I'm going to round it to the nearest um, hundredth. So it'll be 0 0.67. Now I'm going to go back to these three and I'll convert them all to percents. That's easy. We treat this, when we convert it to percent, we treat it as just like three tenths. So it is about 30%. This becomes 9%. And number 12 becomes 67%. I guess I should maybe use the percent sign. Down to 13. Look, we've got a repeating decimal. The rules are a little bit different. With repeating decimals, we don't put zeros in our denominator. We put nines. We have two digits to the right of the decimal, so we put two nines in our denominator. So it ends up being 99. 
it's 16 99ths. Like I said, it only works with repeating decimals. And when you can reduce it, you'll reduce it down. For example, uh, in number nine, that reduced, it would have been 9 99ths, and it would reduce. That would have been 3 ninths, and it would have reduced. This one does not reduce, 16 99ths. Too bad there aren't uh, any more. And when we write this as a percent, it will be 16%. Let's do 18 and 21. 9%. Move the decimal to the left two times, you've got 9 hundredths. 9 hundredths, 9%. Nine they both mean per 100 for every 100. Percent per 100, hundredths is for every 100. So you see how they mean the same thing? And then 9 hundredths in fraction form. 9 hundredths. You see there's two digits after the decimal, so you have two zeros in your denominator. 21, three divided by 200. Get out the little calculator. It is 0 0.015. So when I convert this to a percent, I'll multiply it by 100 and I have one 0.5%. Most of the rest are pretty standard. We've got a few more to do. Go ahead. Get her done.